Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today, the most popular buzzwords in post-processing software are artificial intelligence or AI. Of all the different software packages that I've covered over the years, the first one that started talking about AI was Luminar. That was followed by On One Photo Raw, and then most recently, Photoshop introduced some AI features. Now, Lightroom doesn't have anything labeled AI, but they do have several different functions that you could perform by clicking an auto button. So it's not called AI, but it's called auto. And it really, I guess, is AI in a way. And I'm going to go over these auto features that are in Lightroom. Now, I mentioned several different software packages, and over the years I've done videos on a lot of different ones. What I've done is I've created a photo editing software guide. It's just a comparison guide of different photo editing software applications. You could download this totally free. All you have to do is subscribe to my newsletter. Every Monday I mail out a newsletter, and to subscribe to it, just go to my website, onlinephotographytraining.com. I'll have a link to it in the description below this video. Go to the right-hand column, and you can see, subscribe to our weekly newsletter. Just plop your email address in there, click subscribe, and within a few minutes, you'll get a link in your email to download this guide. All right, let's talk about these auto features that are in Lightroom. Now, if we go to the basic panel when we're in the develop module, and we need to get an auto white balance, what you could do is go to this drop-down right here, and you can see auto, and when you click on that, you'll get an automatic white balance. There's a before look, and there's an after look. Also, if you want to do some tone adjustments automatically, you could do that as well. Where it says tone to the right, you see that little auto button? Click on that, and it will automatically adjust the tone. And what it will adjust is all the sliders that are in this tone section, as well as vibrance and saturation. So that's another auto adjustment. If your image is a little crooked, you could straighten it automatically. Go to the Crop tool and go right here where it says Auto and click there, and it will automatically straighten your image. Now, if you want to commit that crop, just close the Crop tool, and you commit it to that crop. Now, if you have an image like this, a cityscape with buildings in it, and the buildings tend to be maybe tilted out or in or backwards like they are in this image, you could do an Auto Transform adjustment. To do that, go to the Transform uh, tab, and right here, click on Auto, and you can see it automatically does an adjustment. So I just did a number of different auto adjustments that are available in Lightroom, and I came up with this edit. There's Before, and there's After. There's Before, and there's After. Now you could keep those auto adjustments, or you could um, process off those. For instance, there's no auto adjustments for these three present slider te sliders, texture, clarity, and dehaze. Maybe I want to add some of that as well. Um, maybe uh, there's some noise in the image. I'd go to detail. There's no auto adjustment for that. So I could do some auto noise reduction or some manual noise reduction by moving the slider, some manual uh, sharpening as well if I want to. So there's a lot of adjustments that don't have any auto settings, but there are some adjustments that give you a good start. You click those auto buttons that I just did, and it really gets you well on your way to finishing the edit on an image. And then you just have to do a few manual things to finish it up. And I'll finish it up with a vignette. And I'd say I'm done. There's before, and there's after. Before, after. So those are auto adjustments that are in Lightroom. No, there's no artificial intelligence adjustments, these auto adjustments do work pretty well. Remember the guide? Just go over to my website, subscribe to my weekly newsletter, and you'll get an email where you could download the photo editing software guide. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.